Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Fable the Lost Chapters with your host as always, Madurai Bread. Where we last left off, we were about to go to the New Island. Uh, our quest over here, I believe we had to take the Witchwood Cull uh, Escape to get to the island. Our quest here is, it's a personal quest from Maze, we have to find the archaeologist, as we believe he might be in danger. Get uh, 1,200 gold for it. In that given sword. I love getting cut off by the guildmaster. That sword requires a lot of physique to get. All oh, right, I forgot to sell some. Uh, I should have sold some of those resurrection vials if we're going to be finding more like this. But we got a pretty well hidden fishing spot. Hard to see over the fence. But personally, I really like this uh, island. I believe it's called Cathold Glade or something along those lines. Uh, this is a very good training place. Um, before this, the best training place is probably the Hob Cave, if you guys want to train at home. Uh, but this place also becomes a pretty good one. It's less concentrated and quick, but you can fight Balverines here a lot. Uh, this whole island has a big Balverine problem. This is also the island where the arena is, which we will be going to eventually, but it's part of the main quest. It's time for a new enemy. Now you guys have already seen the mud or earth golem. Time for a rock one. You f Really, you fight this guy about the same way. Uh, he just has a lot more health and strength. He's just a tougher version. He's really not that hard. Just circle around him. If you stay behind him, then uh, he takes a very long time to do his area attack. Really, this is another good place just to train up with uh, skill. But if you just stay behind him, then his area attack takes forever. You can dodge roll out. And did I just stun lock him? Uh... You know, weird things seem to be happening in this game left and right. I wasn't aware you could stick him in a constant turning around loop like this. I just intended to get behind him and train skill. Uh... I... I guess I can't complain, but... I kind of wish the fight was a little harder than this, quite honestly. Um... This is embarrassing. And I put up my physical shield for nothing, I guess. Might as well bring that down. Have my will recharge. He's almost dead. And look at the combat multiplier I've gotten on him. He's tried to attack me once. This is... This is easier than the mud golem. At least the mud one, uh, he tried to attack. That, that was a boss, all right. I got a sapphire and I got some renown for it. Let's, uh, let's just pretend that was some big epic battle. Some will potions of the ground, the Guild of Zeros book, which is one of the many books we will be giving to the school eventually. And it looks like we also picked up, uh, saw from the little symbol there of the blue potion with a hand. Oh yeah, by the way, when I was buying and selling potions, I, uh, I collected a lot of potions. We have two ages of will potions now, though. Also, I've got a lot of produce I've been buying and selling. I'm gonna try not using... try not to use too much of it, because having this overabundance of healing items seems kinda cheap. Then again, honestly, this is a very easy game, I find. But, uh, this is one of those games I really like, where you can pick how easy or hard it is. You see, if you play it normally, it's pretty easy, but if you just put a challenge on yourself that's not very hard to put, like, use no healing items, or, you know, only use so many skill points and strength or something, you know, <laughs> maybe use no health, I clicked the wrong button there, then you can easily make the game a lot harder for yourself, and I think that's a really fun mechanic. I like doing gimmick runs of this game. Now, as you guys saw on the map there, there was a demon door right behind us. That is where the archaeologist is. 
And that's not a spoiler or anything, that's even where our minimap tells us that he is. But there's some easter eggs that have to do with this quest that I want to show you. Come on. This is a little bit of a tough one, I'm hoping for a silver key. By the way, I don't think I mentioned before, I believe there are 30 silver keys in the game. Silver key? I believe there are 30 in the game total. And right now we've got seven. Well, we aren't that far into the game, really. We're only maybe a quarter at most into the game, I would say. I don't remember how long it is very well, but I'm pretty sure there's still a lot to go. Also, this is a very good weapon. Right in here, Obsidian Great Hammer, which is actually a little bit stronger than what we've got right now. Just a tiny bit. Same weight. And same range. So I'll be using that. Great, I should go talk to the Demon Gate. I only open to those who know my name. If you know it, find and hit the magic stones to spell it out. Only one person knows my name, but I doubt you'll find him even at the Temple of Avar. Not a very smart demon door. So before I, get, I show you guys what the name is, I will be showing you the guy at the Temple of Avo, and I will also be showing you the uh, Easter egg that has to do with his name. So what are the four letters of his name? H, T, I, and S. So let's hit S, H, I, T, S, H, I. Yeah, uh, if you do S-H-I-T for his name, he actually sticks two Balverines on you. Normally when you get the combination wrong, nothing happens. So I think that's a fun little easter egg. Luckily we're pretty strong now, so Balverines aren't a whole big threat anymore. Although if they gang up, they can be a nuisance. They're still the strongest monster that we're fighting. Yeah, and there's a treasure chest over here. Not really that well hidden. Chainmail gauntlets. Eh, those are cheap to buy. And we've got bright chainmail on anyways. Then again, I don't think the game expects me to have this much money this early on. Now, the Temple of Avo is the counterpart to the Temple of Scorm. Scorm is the evil one, this is the good one. Instead of sacrificing people... Oh, and uh, that's a good bodyguard over there. Instead of sacrificing people here, you make money donations. And you get prizes for it. Resurrection file? Damn. Hello there. Are you interested in hearing the name of the demon door? Why, yes I am. If you can give me something valuable, I might tell you it. Something red and shiny, for example. Otherwise, you'll just have to work it out for yourself. Red and shiny, who? Wow. Well, could it be what the F key th F3 wow. key is showing? I know the doll's secret name. It's Hits. H-I-T-S. That is correct. His name is Hits. Good thing I had rubies on me. Now, before we go and uh, punch in the name, I want to give a crack at getting this sword out of the stone. So, have you heard the legend of this sword? A knight of the old kingdom called Hugh wielded a sword like no other. He was a giant. The sword cut through monsters, people, and demons like parchment. It possessed power, power that mortals could not control. Dying, Hugh thrust it into the living rock, from which it could never be removed. Legend says that only somebody as strong as Hugh the Giant can remove it. Perhaps it's just an old wives' tale. Perhaps it's a fake. Wow! Alright, let's give this a try. Let's, uh, let's slay some demonic parchment, or whatever he did. No, no, grab the horn things on the side. You need I'm leverage. Maybe next time. 
<sighs> You're not that smart, are you? You don't look strong enough to me. Better luck next time. Alright, now I believe no matter what your physique and strength skills are, you will fail the first time, even if it's max. But I think you need a max stout uh, physique to, to uh, open it, to pull it out of the stone. Although I believe your other strength-based stats do matter. So you really do need to be a giant to pull that out. And right now, we only have five physique. We need seven. So it'll be a while before we can pull it out, but it is by far one of the best weapons in the game. So I very much look forward to getting it. I believe it's a two-handed claymore. Oh, right. I have to go punch in the uh, name. So, as I said before, H-I-T-S. Why is one already punched in? I didn't touch that. That's T. Okay, fine. Now I have to touch H them all. S I D H S I. Okay, which one's this? Nope. Nope. Out my name, big deal. In you go. You know, it was a cool puzzle and all, but uh, you have to wonder how the demon door set up all those rocks to do that. And did he have a permit? So you found me. That's just grand. If you can find me, so can they. I should never have started studying the focus sites. But how was I to know Jack was interested in them too? Yes, Jack of Blades. Look, I have no time to explain. You can read my journal if you want. I don't want it anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be off. It's not safe for me here anymore, thanks to you. I guess he set up the demon door. Alright, quest complete. And I will be reading his journal, but I'll be doing that when I do that series of videos. Uh... So, the archaeologist is alive. Hmm, that's good. Thanks to you, I'm sure we can keep him safe. Uh, you should return to the guild now. There's an important quest card waiting for you. It seems not whole Glade is in some trouble. All right, uh, Nuthold Glade is the uh, is the city here on this island. It's a very good one. A lot of uh, a lot of bright armors and anti undead and unholy creature weapons and stuff. So very good gear is for sale here. But that should be it for this episode. As you saw over there in the corner, by the way, there's a fifteen key man. Wasting those left and right. A 15 key, silver key, um, that is, chest. So we'll have to remember that for later, but right now, what are we at? Seven or eight? I feel like I just checked earlier this episode. We're at seven, okay. So on the next episode, we'll probably be uh, trying to save the city from whatever the problem is. Until next time, have a nice day.